Grazie. Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. As we get closer and closer to the holidays, some of you may be a little stressed out. You're like, oh my goodness, I got so many people cut. Look at Julie Finley. She's already just made an appearance, and I haven't even introduced her. Julie Finley, Mom and the No, joining us on the show. Hi. How are you? It's so good. Oh, I've never so good photo to see bombed. You. I'm definitely uh, you, keeping you, that you, for sure. You video bombed. You didn't even photo okay, bomb. Okay. Like, that was full motion yes, video bomb. How was. are you? I'm so good. I, I think I'm excited about the holidays. So I when you, you said are. it, I bopped around there for sure <laughs> but I have to say this year is quite busy but what's yeah. amazing is there's so many markets open the tree farms are open everywhere you go everybody's in a good mood agreed yes so the other thing we have been talking about is the cost of food oh my and goodness and just how no. we're going to feed yeah. everybody and how we're going to do it so a couple of tips I'm going to give today okay big batch cooking all right so right away this was a big batch it was apple oatmeal cookies then your but children got so, into exactly. it exactly and your husband yes. probably so they're John was so in there too. good. It's yeah. super easy. So, like all things, we got dry ingredients and yeah. we have wet ingredients. So, I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. We're starting with dessert. We're going to start it. with dessert. It's the holidays. Yeah, exactly. It's the holidays. All so, right, Are you right away. Break into song? I was it sounded like you were about to you break into song. I think it's music night tonight, so I was just oh, okay. prepping myself. Okay. Yeah. All right, sorry. Okay, I've got two Salt and a half hysteric. cups of quick rolled oats. All right. I've got a cup of flour. You want to pop Put that, that in? in. There. Yeah. Okay. I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh yeah, you gotta I have know. That. It smells so good when mm -hmm. you get these in. A little teaspoon, half teaspoon of salt. Yeah. And then you're just gonna do a half teaspoon of baking powder. You're gonna Easy. sift that together. Okay. Well, I'm sifting that together. What I've already done is I've blended a cup of butter and brown sugar because that's really oh. what you're looking for for the holidays. I could just eat that alone. Absolutely. Never mind the cookies. That, <laughs> and so if you want to just warm that up a tiny sure. bit. The last ingredient we're gonna add is two cups of apples. So Ontario okay. apples are available all year long. Right. So you absolutely can Good find your favor. Exactly. Am Honey I using Christmas this? out there, you're gonna crack the egg. Okay. Oh, you're good. I, well, I think I'm gonna do the one handed. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> Last time it didn't look so good. <laughs> I've got things to put in there. Okay, and then whip that together. Okay. And I've already added a, a teaspoon of vanilla, and of course it's on foodlandontario.ca, and there's a lot of batch cooking cookies that you could do right. for the holidays. And what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna add in, okay, no, we're gonna add first. in the dry first. Okay. Okay, and then we are going to add in the apples. All right. Yeah. Simple as that. So there apples, you go. There you go. And then blend that together, and then have some fun with it. The I'm oven's gonna be at 350. No, of course no. Yeah. Have some fun. Get a little scooper. The, the mini yeah, scooper. Yeah, a little you... mini scooper. So you're thinking stocking stuffers, things like that. Get kids in the kitchen, and it's these cute little tools that keeps them coming back. I agree, 100%. Yeah. So I, right. you don't need to do that too much, but these are how beautiful it's happening. Okay, that's how happening. they will look. Yes. I don't have to actually scoop. Okay. No, you don't need to Whew, scoop. Okay. That could have been a disaster. This is fun. Do you what like do you shepherd's got? pie? I love shepherd's this pie. This is a big batch of cheesy sweet potato. Sweet Sh potato. Shepherd's okay. pie, exactly. So I've already gone ahead. I've taken two pounds of sweet potato and I used a masher. Remember that masher yeah. I showed you? Well, I'm just going to do this. Merry Christmas. I, no. Your own masher. <gasps> so while you do that, so this masher, just open and close, yeah, show everyone at thing. home. You're going to put your, already when they're fork tender, you're going to put the sweet potatoes in, you're going to mash them out, you're going to have this much mashed potato. Look you can do that. with potatoes. It's actually, I think, called, I've, it's probably called the ricer, but... It does Called a ricer, but yeah, it does a, it does a good potatoes. mash. Yes. Well, we're, we're having, so Christmas Eve is at our place this year, and uh, I am using the masher. Okay, you need to show me how that worked out. Okay. I will. So we got the sweet potatoes. This is a topping, so of course, go your regular Ontario potatoes, but sweet potatoes are great. They've got lots of um, protein, not protein, lots of vitamins, minerals, everything in yep. it. And they're actually quite cheap at the grocery store. So root That's vegetables right are now. your friends. Yes. you got to get ready to take them on. Agreed. We've got a half cup of milk that we're going to pour in there and two okay. cups of cheddar cheese. Ooh, we're putting the cheese yeah, right in it. Yeah, exactly. You're going to mix that up. That okay. is going to be the topping. All right. Okay, I've already peeled. So really what it is, is whatever's in season, whatever you'd like in your shepherd's pie, you're going to do two and a half cups. So I have okay. gone with corn. I've got a one and a oh, half I cups of that because I do it. love corn. So that's for frozen fresh. And I've got peas. Yeah. Already the colors are looking delightful. Of course, what I didn't show you, but you might have seen over top, is I've already pre ground uh, browned the ground beef right and it's right. a pound and again when you go in the grocery store another tip see what's on sale there's ground chicken there's ground turkey yes. there's
this, yes. all of that. Because they're, they all work, Absolutely. right? If you, it doesn't matter what you're making. Yeah. You, you can you can alternate between them. Carrots, yep. shredded carrots. Again, kids in the kitchen, they could be shredding those. Okay. Okay, and then I went parsnips. Oh, I love yes, parsnips. Yes, see, and they have a nice nutty yeah. flavor to add it to anything. And it's really almost the only time of year you can get them at an affordable price, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Like if you try parsnips in the summer, well, let me tell you, it'll blow your mind. Yeah. Honestly, it's, it's like lettuce today. Parsnips I know. in the summer. Okay, Doesn't so a work. tip with the lettuce today. I know this is not in my ingredients. When you're buying that lettuce, when it's attached to the the little um, root, like the root still there. Keep that root there. Yes. Only chop off and clean off what you need, and then keep it. Even if it's in that big cellophane, it's for a reason. It's letting the ventilation right. happen. Great so advice. So keep it fresh. I know, I'm excited. Uh, onions. I went shallots. <laughs> I do get excited. You do get about excited foods. about some of the little know, things in the life, little and things. that's what I love about you, Julie. Yeah. Yes, so we're going to let this stir a bit, and what okay. we're going to do after we do that is we're going to add a little bit of flour into two cups of milk, or okay. sorry, one cup, if you could just stir that up. Yeah. That's going to act as a thickener. Oh, so right. So this is big batch, so if we could kind of swing over to here, I've got one eight-inch pan. Mm -hmm. It makes two of them, but I've actually made single versions of it. Oh, so great idea. So this is great because then you freeze it, because once you've got this layer, well, we're not going to layer because it's going to take a little Yeah, long. I got you, I got you. Once you layer and put it all together then you just can freeze it from there or you put it in the oven at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes okay. until it's browned on top can I get one more tip? Uh, yeah, you've got lots of oh. time. We've got two oh, minutes left. Okay, good. Tip well, away, good, my friend. Then I can add my spices which are thyme, mm -hmm. oregano, a tablespoon of each okay. and also a tablespoon of dry mustard. When okay. you are peeling all of your vegetables, yes. all the bits and bites you don't need to do, just keep this freezer bag in your freezer. Yeah. When there's enough, vegetable stock. You're gonna fill, put idea. it in the pot, you're gonna fill it until it's filled up, you're gonna turn it on to boil, okay. you're gonna let it boil, and then turn it to simmer for 30 minutes and strain it. And you're ready to go. You're ready you to go. You can freeze the and vegetable stock, and we do it all the time. And you, you know what add, else we do? Mm -hmm. Is my wife started making, Monica started making a homemade dog food. So all oh. of our cuttings go into the homemade dog food, and she makes this kind of slurry that they love. Yeah, so let's Slurry's share all these ideas. Slurry's not the best word to use, I get it, okay? It just, it just came to mind, I understand. <laughs> All yeah. right. So now when we do that, we're just going to put it in all these different pans. We're that goes on the bottom. The this goes on top. This goes right? on top. You're going to put it in the oven. You're going to smell it. And of course, you want to add your uh, salt and pepper on top. And I've already had a clove of garlic, but I like the extra garlic. So I'm going to put one more clove uh, of garlic. I always in. double the garlic in almost every, every recipe I do. Yeah. yeah you so can't garlic go wrong. is still local. You. Always look for the sign. You yeah. know what you're doing. You've got your farmer's markets are still open downtown. Enjoy the holidays. Get to know you, where your food comes from. Have some fun. And Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. And you can freeze these, I guess, too, right? Like, oh, what would yeah. you, you just put? Oh my gosh, I already made something else too. I got such well, bad here. This is a rustic bean soup. Everything is in here. I've got beans, I've got cabbage, I've got potatoes, I've got carrots, I've got oh, onions, I've got. That is. Oh, and then I did a chorizo yes. and a ham. Chorizo so this, and okay. This is just one of them because you said frozen. Yeah. I've got this one here. I've got two of these. It makes eight cups. Okay. So this All is of this freezer, available at Foodland Ontario's yeah. website? foodlandontario.ca. Uh, will you come back before the holidays? I will. Okay, I'll make good. more. I'm just looking at the date. Hey, don't you go away. <laughs> Julie's not. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>